Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to the second part of everything about Sonic's homing attack. In this part, we're going to showcase what makes homing attack actually pretty damn good. Well, for starters, this move has massive range. Like, a ridiculous amount of range. If Sonic is facing towards the opponent, he can reach them from halfway across the stage with homing attack. However, please note that if he's not facing towards them, the range is a lot smaller. As you can see over here. So there are times where you can literally just skip neutral and just randomly go like <laughs> And situations like these are very hard to react to because you can always mix up the time. You can charge this move to up to 82 frames. So you can either just release it immediately or you can just fully charge it. Another thing to know is that the full charge does a tremendous amount of damage. As you can see here. And it also does a tremendous amount of shield damage. The hitbox also becomes a lot bigger when you fully charge it which makes it great for shield poking. This move can be really good for shield poking people that always hold shield. A good counterplay to this is that the opponent can always angle their shields. However, it still has a really good chance of shield poking. Yeah, it's kind of broken. And even if you don't shield poke them, you can end up breaking their shield. As you can see over here. This makes this move really good for shield pressure. Because of this, opponents will be trying to roll and spot dodge to bait it. However, since you can charge it for such a long time, you can pretty much bait and punish it. This move is also really good for exploding recoveries. Whenever Sonic hits the opponent with homing attack, Sonic will always be able to act out before the opponent, which means Sonic can have the frame advantage and push the advantage from there. Homing attack is really good for pushing the advantage, especially off stage when the opponent is in a situation where they have very limited options and you can cover them with homing attack. If you're fighting a character with a generally exploitable recovery, it's really good to abuse homing attack so you can push the advantage and get the edge guard. With that being said, in the next part, I'll show you guys how to use homing attack, how to abuse its strengths, and what makes the move actually kind of broken sometimes. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the second part, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the third part. Take care, everybody.